Roger had written a memoir called Life Itself. It was on the New York Times bestseller list. Then Garrett Bash and Steve Zalian, they read Roger's memoir and said, this could be a film. They reached out to Steve James and Martin Scorsese, and with a team like that, we said, case closed, yeah, we'll do it. Life Itself began filming during the end of Roger's 11-year battle with cancer. I had to make sure that Roger was up to filming. Uh, I served as sort of a gatekeeper because I didn't want it to be anything that would tax him too much. Chaz is looking forward to audiences seeing the personal side of Roger. Hope that people see what an incredibly generous man he was, how self-effacing he was, how he was a modest man, how much he genuinely wanted to reach out and communicate with people. And how would the famed film critic rate the documentary if given the chance? Two thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. He would have definitely said two thumbs up. He would have given it four stars. Life itself is in theaters starting July 4th.